Before we start any database programming, we first need to understand some terminology associated with databases. In this section, I will give a brief overview of the history of databases and why they have become so popular for businesses over the last number of decades. In 1970, a young Edgar Codd, working at IBM in San Jose, wrote a research paper entitled A Relational Model of Data for Large Shared Data Banks. This became the foundation for what we now know as the relational model. IBM over the next few years worked on implementing the relational model and came up with the relational database. Dr. Codd also outlined in his paper that such relational models should also have a standard programming language to allow for insertion, deletion and updating of data as well as user administration. Before relational databases came along, data was typically stored in a number of different methods, such as hierarchical data structures and flat file systems, which were cumbersome to update and often led to many discrepancies in data, due to the nature of having duplicate data across systems. Dr. Codd noted that by using a centralized relational model, this would address a large number of the issues. By normalizing data and having the tables relate to each other, anomalies could be greatly reduced, where only a single row of data needed to be updated in any given table, and within each table, a unique key would be used to identify the given row of data. In addition to using a relational model, also cuts down on the amount of data that needs to be recorded, often referred to as data redundancy. Dr. Codd, along with Raymond Boyce, went on to develop the Boyce Cod Normal Form, also known as BCNF, which addresses some additional anomalies not addressed in his original paper using Third Normal Form. Donald Chamberlain and Raymond Boyce, also working at IBM at the same time as Dr. Cod, learnt of Cod's paper and started working on the development of a programming language called SQL, S-E-Q-U-E-L, which is an acronym for Structured English Query Language. However, they later shortened the name to SQL, Structured Query Language, as SQL was already a trademark of the UK-based Hawker Siddeley Aircraft Company. In 1979, relational software company, now Oracle Corporation, released the first commercially available RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, and since then the term RDBMS has become commonplace when discussing databases. Lastly, in 1986, the SQL language was officially recognised by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, and a year later was also recognised by the International Standards Organisation, ISO. Although SQL is recognised as a standard, there are slight variations on the language between database vendors. Notably that SQL originally had no form of procedural programming and has been added in by many database vendors since such as Oracle, Teradata, Postgres, MySQL, DB2, and Microsoft SQL Server. That's all for this section on a brief history of databases.